guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to a new episode of Building the Wizarding World. Now, as the name already indicates, um, it's about the whole Wizarding World and not just Hogwarts. So today we will take a look at a Diagon Alley expansion that I built. Um, it's the first one that I show on this channel. I've got a few more designed already that I also sell instructions for. Um, you will know them if you visited my Instagram already. Um, this time I've built the Leaky Cauldron on the right side and Wizard Cross Wizarding Equipment Shop on the left side. Um, I probably mispronounced that. So the build has mainly two features. Um, one that you can take off that wall right here, that wall piece from the brick entrance behind the Leaky Cauldron that leads to the Diagon Alley itself um, where Harry and Hagrid stand already. So you can you can replicate that that iconic scene in the first movie pretty well. The second feature is that you can open the front facade of uh, the Leaky Cauldron to reveal its interior. Here we can see the first floor of the Leaky Cauldron. Um, it's a bedroom or like a guest room, I think. Um, it's the room that where Harry fought against the Monster Book of Monsters. I try to to add. A chimney in there but there just wasn't enough space so I couldn't add that um but I think it's still sort of recognizable with the bed and and the carpet but beneath that we have the bar itself with like the stone bar thing you could see in the movies and there are two chairs a table another chair and a little chimney which had uses quite a basic design but I couldn't fit much more in there and so it works I think then we have the brown door that leads into the brick entrance to the Diagon Alley itself. So here you can see the other side of the Leaky Cauldron. Um, it's the one that faces the Charing Cross Road, so it's pretty much the Muggle side or the side that the Muggles see. Um, the design is from the first Harry Potter movie. There are two different designs that I could choose. The other one is from the third Harry Potter movie, but that one is a bit less, less interesting and less detailed. So it shows you both this design. And I think it works quite good. Um, the facade of the bar is black, completely black. The windows up here allow pretty much no light to get into the bar itself as that stone bar building inside blocks the light. Um, the facade of the rest of the building is kept in dark tan or it's not completely kept in it. I split it, the colors up by adding a few light bluish gray and dark bluish gray plates um, to make it a bit more detailed. Then we have again the uh, brown windows with the same window design from the from the official Diagon Alley set. It was from the from the quality credit supplies building. So you can see the roof design of my leaky cauldron. I'm quite proud of it. Um, it uses 30 inverted brick arches in black, obviously. Um, and then I etched it out with those with those door rails in black as well. Um, those are the Brooklyn names by the way and then we have another small chimney thing up there the roof design of wizard cross wizarding equipment um, is flat um, but the balcony is also also got a roof um, which is just an angled plate which I put a few details on to to make it look interesting the interior of wizard cross wizarding equipment um, is also divided into two rooms um, one on the first floor and one on the bottom floor. On the first floor we have the bedroom of the owner with like a blue and gold bed. Pretty much the colors of Wizard Chris, Wizard Chris Wizarding Equipment. Um, and we have like a little side table thing um, and another carpet. Besides that we have the, the balcony um, with a few barrels. Um, and on the bottom floor we have the sales room with a nice little cashier table which I copied from Ollie Vanders from the official um, Diagon Alley set. Then we have a bunch of golden gadgets and and gear and stuff that I just randomly assembled somehow to, to make it look like he has a bunch of different stuff in there. And we have another telescope. And then there's that dark blue carpet in there. Um, on the outside of the Wizard Cross Wedding Equipment Shop we have another sign. Um, I tried to get it cl as close to the official sign as possible. Beneath that we have like a little golden thing that I also tried to make as accurate as possible. 
but it's not not really that recognizable i think other than that the facade of the wizard quest within the equipment shop is kept in dark blue and light bluish gray with a few pillars um to to make it look more interesting and to break it up a bit so there are two ways of displaying this module um the first one is that you just place it in line with the other modules um let's say we place it next to flourish and bloods um we just attach it and remove the side wall of the brick entrance to get a good look into it um so that's one option and the other option is that you uh, assemble diagonally um in that way that they the buildings are facing each other so that it's a closed off market street and if you do so you have to build a gray wall which i have here um and you have to attach that wall to the building that is facing the leaky cauldron to close the diagon alley off from the muggle world from the charing crossroad in this case um so yeah that those are the two ways to display this module so that was pretty much it i hope you found it interesting if you have further questions regarding this mock feel free to ask in the comment section below i will be happy to reply so yeah thanks for watching i would really appreciate a like and a subscription and if you will check out the links in the description below um, they lead to my Mox Market and Rebrickable shops where I sell instructions for this mock and a few other Harry Potter themed buildings. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.